My name is Mark Hall. I'm a youth pastor at Eagles Landing First Baptist Church, and I am the singer and songwriter for the band Casting Crowns. My faith began as a kid. Uh, my dad was saved before I, I was. He was about 32, 33 years old. The vacation Bible school parade came through my neighborhood one day, and it's a bunch of kids in the back of cars when you could still do that. They're throwing candy out to people saying, come to vacation Bible school. And I begged my parents to let me go, and they did. The worship leader of the church, we didn't know what any of that meant, came and visited my family and led my dad to Jesus right there in our house. And my father then came and brought all of us to church. Dad started singing in the choir. Uh, Mom started helping uh, with children's choirs and serving all over the place, and that was probably when I was about seven. And when I was nine years old, uh, I was sitting in church one day and realized uh, I need Jesus in my life and I need his forgiveness. I definitely wasn't repenting from a life of crime at nine years old, but I knew I needed him, and I asked him to save me that day. Well, I was in about third or fourth grade, I believe, when I remember being pulled out of class and taking a lot of tests, and my mom telling me one day that, uh, hey, we're gonna go into a little different class uh, for a while in school, and I could already tell I wasn't keeping up. I guess the big day is remembering standing outside the counselor's room and listening to them talk. And I remember the, the counselor telling my mom that I wasn't keeping up, and I never told her that I heard. She didn't tell me I was dyslexic. She didn't tell me I was ADD, she didn't tell me any of that. She just said, hey, we're gonna go in a little different class and we're gonna keep trying and you're gonna keep working. And it was never really a crutch for me to go, well, it's okay, cause I'm this and I'm that. It was something that, hey bro, you better keep plugging away. When I did discover uh, in college, one of my English professors turned in a paper and he goes, you're dyslexic, aren't you? I said, no. And then he just started showing me a few things. You know, when you take notes, do you write here and then over here and then down here? And then do you come back over here? I was like, are you the devil? You know, how did you know this, right? So all of that coupled together made school a nightmare for me. So the idea of going to Bible college later was just, oh, you gotta be kidding. And suddenly God tosses me right back into it. So I spent six years at that nice little four-year college, uh, Baptist College of Florida. God taught me Right out there, I call it the rack. Uh, he stretched me out in that, in that Bible college and showed me that he uses the weak things of the world to shame the strong and the foolish things to shame the wise to show that this all-surpassing power is from him and not from us. And uh, God started showing me he, he didn't really need me at all. He wants me. I'm learning that you have to earn the right to walk into someone's life and start talking to them about how they live. That's a very, very fragile bridge that's, that's being built right there. And one of the best ways to build a bridge to someone else is transparency. And once they figure out, no, I don't have it all together. In fact, I'm a bigger, way bigger dork than you are. I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. So at every concert you ever see Casting Crowns, you're gonna hear me talking about dyslexia. You're gonna hear me talk about ADD. You're gonna hear me talk about all my shortcomings and all my failures, because I've gotta get it in your head that if Jesus can save me, he can save you. And instead of trying to protect some I've got it all together persona uh, that we see a lot in church, Tear all the plastic off and let them see that, that uh, Jesus saved you. And uh, that'll reach people. 